doing a rendition of the picture. <laughs> a quick Ricky <laughs> with the little airbrush, that's perfect. So you are we have <laughs> you are doing um, a lot of pet pet portraits. Yes. Right? Yes. Now when people are coming through your house and how does that feel for actually people to be inside of your space? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay. It's my first time doing this. Mm -hmm. And it's um, you know, my mom has been here in the morning and got a friend coming over now and you know, it feels okay. It feels all right. Yeah. Yeah. Well the thing about you that is different and for people to know at home is that for you this is marketing. People can't come in here like in every other place that we've been into and actually take something home, right? Right. They're just coming and seeing the masterpieces that you have in your house. Right, and getting ideas for conditions and things like that. Something. <laughs> so Sarah, very high ceilings and like we pointed out the remarkable, beautiful portrait that you have on the wall. Tell us a little bit about that. That mural I well, my favorite artist is Sandra Cook, mm -hmm. and that is my favorite character from her one of her paintings. Yeah. And so I can't do that for anybody else, but I can do similar, um, like similar type illustrations. Right. But this is the character. The rest of it I made up myself, and then uh, my style is just soft and pretty. And I like right. It. So you know what? One thing that is very remarkable that I have to tell you: when we were at another artist on the tour. Um, they actually came up to us and when we said we're going to go see Sarah West, they said, you know what, I have a Sarah West in my house. <laughs> she didn't even know who it was by, like it's, it's your sign there, but she didn't know you. Yeah. And when we said that, I mean, so you've done things in other other places? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hear that quite a bit, that people have seen things here and there, and it's kind of cool. Right, because you'll do any sort of wall display. I mean, and, and just yeah. bring life to a space. Yeah, and they do businesses as well as residential. So they're kind of businesses get more um, people seeing them. Yeah, so that's kind of good. So you have a diehard fan out there, and you didn't even know. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Now going back to the bike, because that is the first thing that I saw when I first went in. Okay. Yeah. Or came into your into your home. Mm -hmm. Now. You do airbrushing on on Harley's yep. on all sorts of bikes and leather on leather as well. Yeah. So explain: is there a difference in the detailing of what you do on leather compared to a bike? Um, it's harder to work on a bike because it's such a hard surface, mm -hmm. and um, the leather is a bit easier, more giving. And uh, but basically, it's the same for working on everything. Okay, tell me why someone watching this at home should, not should, but because airbrushing in the home, you don't generally think about it until I came into your space and I think it is absolutely phenomenal. Why should people bring this into their home? Well, I like the airbrush technique because you don't feel it on the wall mm -hmm. and you don't have to sand it if you want to paint over it. Um, if you can get a softer look. I can also do the bright, like, bold things, but... I, I prefer the softer, and then you don't see brush marks. Nothing. So you can get different textures with it. And, you know, mm -hmm. It adds something. It adds warmth. It adds life to your space, right? Yeah. yeah. Now you have a website. Tell us what your website is. My website is www.airart.ca. Airart.ca. And and what else do you do in regards to? You know, you have the pet portraits. You do the wall. What else do you have? I do people portraits. I do, I do I pretty much every, anything. If anybody can think of something, I can do it. Now, there's one thing that is out in your lawn right now. Oh, Christmas lawn displays. Yes. Yeah, I can do Christmas lawn displays. So how do people, okay, so if people want to actually come in and get you to do something for them, then they can give me an idea of the theme they want, like they want Santa or if they want a religious theme or whatever. I just did the deer because they're cute. Dancer and Prancer. Yeah, Dancer yeah. and Prancer. Or you could even have Thumper in there, that's perfect. Yeah, well maybe not like the real Thumper, but I could do one that looks similar anyway. So, with this little tool that you have here, let's put this up so people can see. This is what you use for the fine, fine detail. Yes. Yeah. Well, this is what I use for everything, even the big stuff. On the free hand. I mean, yeah. the thing is, is, you're just so, so laid back about this whole process and it is remarkable to me the fact that like, going back to this dog come and check out this for a minute because going back to this look look at these fine lines 
Yeah, you can do, you can get fine, fine lines with it. I've been doing this for a long time, for, in business for 16 years, and sometimes for 11. What made you get involved in the tour then? Uh, well, I've been here in Innisfil for almost seven years, and I've been needing to get in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now I have enough done in the house that I could, you know, make it worth it and have a lot to, to show people and, you know, I can go from there, I can go from there. Then well, I get more work around here, maybe. Well, you know what, Sarah, it was a pleasure talking with you. I mean, you are very, very talented. Thank you. And you are so modest, it's ridiculous. Okay. But you know what? This is a very fantastic woman. You have to go check out her website to see some of the other stuff that you have. Thanks very much, Sarah. Thank you. Well, Dancer and Prancer, was that not another fantastic show? Hey, guys? Huh? Well, anyway. You know what? If you are unable to make the 16th annual Innisfil Studio Tour, make sure you mark your calendar for next year and get one of these. It is always the same weekend, the first weekend in November, so like I said, mark it on now for 2009. You do not want to miss the 17th year. It just keeps getting better and better. I want to thank all of my guests. We have so many artists. I, like I said, there's 31 different artists in 23 different locations, so there's way too many to, to name, but I want to thank all of them the library as well, and all the different locations. Make sure you follow the blue signs if you ever want to get around. That's it for our show on Simple Living. I'm Melanie Tate on Rogers TV.